Today we're looking at the latest builds of Ubuntu Touch. And once you start the machine, uh, or should I say the phone, first thing you get is this screen here. There's no data sources available. And um, we're going to swipe from the left now. And you can see this is the, I said the Dash Home with all the applications on it. And you can see I can put more applications on. You can squeeze it right down. And um, we can hit the the dash home button. You've got your home scope here. You've got more applications: Messenger, Dialer, Facebook, Gallery, Gmail, System Settings. We'll go into System Settings. It's a new feature, and you can see you can search up here in System Settings, Wi-Fi, your cellular, Bluetooth on or off, backgrounds. This is not quite ready yet, but you can see a welcome screen, home screen, and you can set the background for different each. And if I pull up from the bottom, I can go back. Uh, sound accounts, battery, updates. We'll click on the update button. See if there's any updates there. So it'll check for updates. You can auto download here as well, your updates. And um, it depends on how near I am to a wireless connection. It doesn't seem I'm that near up here. The reception isn't great. So um, from there, I can pull up and go back. So that's basically your, roughly, you can go about this phone. And you can see, it gives you the EMI number of the phone, up to 13.10, check for updates, serial number of the phone, storage and stuff, and legal software licenses. And again, so again, we go up from the bottom. It doesn't go, it doesn't bring us back to, so what we do is we'll, swipe from the left and straight across and you can see system settings is still opened here you can see it's here but if i swipe right you can see it's still there and if i swipe left it brings it back to the application screen and from there i can go to the home screen or the home scope and you can see as i'm moving you can see the bottom at the bottom there it pops up here so i can select applications videos but see it disappears again then and it, so you have to just turn it like this slightly home scope and music and it goes back down but you can you can easily flick across the screens with no real problems so um we'll go back now look at our recent apps you could, if you keep your finger on it an X will appear and you can close that app down now we look here at installed apps and I'll open a few of them there and um, the Sudoku one is quite good and you can see I can scroll up and I can click new game and um, just tap anywhere for your new game then again if I want to get back to my home screen I just swipe from the left and say we look at uh, dropping letters Another good app. And again, up from the bottom, new game. And um, of course, if I want to go back to my Sudoku now, if I pause my dropping letters or I'm finished playing dropping letters, you can swipe from the right and you can see the Sudoku goes here. And swipe from the right again, and you're back to the dropping letters. So your two apps are still in there. And then if I go from the left, it brings it back to the home screen eBay, Twitter, Google Plus, and um, you can see Dash plugins are available as well. We have click packages available. Now some of these aren't working, I can just show you one. A click package, I can disable the click package. Ah, just hit on the click package itself. And uh, commands and stuff. So installed are these applications. Um, these are recent apps again, so I can hold this down and I can close these down. Videos. So we'll look at the top indicators now, you can scroll these right down and um, I have a habit of just scrolling down, you can hit your location, you can go to messaging, your battery there, 86%, sound settings, date and time, networks 
Bluetooth on or off, location services, and messaging. You can clear all your messaging from here as well. And the battery, back to battery. And I can scroll up through that, and I can select it this way as well. Now it's a little sensitive, but um, you can see the idea behind it. And scroll back up again then. And again, back out to my dash home. This brings me to the home scope. Applications, installs. And dash plugins. And videos, of course, back then to music. Um, that's it. That's the latest version of the Ubuntu Touch. Um, there is another application there for installing apps. You can install apps with one click, but um, it's not quite ready yet, so I didn't show you that. And um, it won't be released for another four weeks, so it's still early development. Four weeks is a long time. And thanks for watching.